Welcome back to Cross Out. Uh, I made this in the last one. It's pretty cool looking. There's a whole bunch of new stuff. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go back and watch it. There's Doomsday Cars is the event that's going on. You get a bunch of rewards. Uh, there's like tons of different things. Like obviously this takes a while to get. I have everything already just so I can show it all off. But there's new legendary caps. There's new things like this epic uh, Gravastar, which is like a laser shotgun. I only have one of them though, but I, so I can check them. Check out a bunch of them. Uh, new wheels. There's this World Cannon thing, Auto Cannon. Um, let's see, there's new skins, there's all these new, like, sh really durable structural parts. Uh, this legendary cabin cohort, which is what I have right here on this thing. Today, though, what I think I'll do, also, guys, I didn't even realize it, but apparently, the one garage I was looking for replaced the engineering garage. And so, it's, uh, totally different now. It looks way different. It's the farm now, it's a farm, which... Now that I see it, I kind of like the looks of this. I'm not opposed. I actually don't. I actually like it. it. I think it's a lot better than the other one, in my opinion. I did not like the other one. Maybe because it was what it was for so long. Anyway, in today's video, what I thought we'd do is... Um, I really want to do... Two, somebody's like, do world with... Uh, what, what cab? I can't remember. But anyway, the Griffin cab. Maybe we can check that out. Uh, when activated, the player and three closest allies are invisible on the radar and become immune to the effects of Oculus and Verifier for 11 seconds. It would be great to run with it as a pack, which I'm not going to do. Nova, which is really sweet. It creates like a protective shield, so almost like a bubble shield. But instead of how it is, it's got a forward-facing shield, which is pretty sweet. It creates a protective field to the front, absorbing any damage from fast-moving objects. So... Uh, regular bullets and energy streams for three seconds. Cooldown is twenty seconds. If the field is destroyed, six seconds. And so the is that the so the cooldown is six seconds at that point. Mass negative seventeen, and then the cohort, which was what I played with in uh, yesterday's video, which I have equipped, which is why I can't find it, is uh, a heavy cabin. They're all legendary. On activation, gives a cabin thirty percent damage resistance for ten seconds. Cooldown is 25 seconds. If there are allies in the line of sight nearby. This, I can't, I I don't understand this. Because I definitely did it twice when enemies were in line of sight. Um, there launches up to three drones that also increases their resistance depending on the type of cabin. Light and medium 10%, heavy 30%. And the drones come out of this inside area. It pops up. But I never saw them appear, so I wonder if they actually did come out, but it was, like, bugged. Because this is what it looks like. It, like, pops out this green smoke that gives, like, resistance. And then it, like, popped the drone out the middle once that was over. So it probably won't... See? Look at it. I don't know. Is that where the drones come out? It doesn't seem like they would come out of there. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing, but apparently... I, I don't know if it worked or not yesterday, but anyway, today we're. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna try to make a build based around Nova. Um, I think this would be sweet. The only thing is though, do I still not have those parts? I still do not have the new parts. How can I test things if I don't even have them? But I'm glad that I've got these ones, so I can definitely check them out. But like you know the the booster thing for the uh, like Helios and whatnot, like. That's really what I want to test, but, uh, and the laser shotgun, but maybe do we just run like a Nova laser shotgun build just for the heck of it? Maybe let's do it. Well, after exper experimenting the build, I just realized something. Uh, the shield doesn't work unless the cab is completely exposed, which really stinks. Actually, let's see. Can I put something i was making i was trying to make a really cool looking build too like spending a, i spent a lot of time doing this i wonder if if i do this right here will that still work okay so that still works how can it be how limited can it be let's see if we just show just a little bit but that still works nope wow okay that's crazy so you actually have to have it pretty pretty, pretty much completely exposed hmm it makes me almost not want to use it at all, ever. I mean, that's nice, I guess. So if I put anything in front of it, like, let's say if I just like, I don't know, we'll scrap a part here. If I do this, 
that work? Nope, okay. So, how far out can it be? It's another question. Nope. Wow, this is, this is kind of shocking to me. And if I do this... No, literally, wow, okay. Well, so that kind of stinks. Makes me, I don't want to use it. I don't want to do this now. All right, here we go. I made a griffin build. Uh, I'm, I think this maybe might be the one that I like. Well, I, th I, I like cohort actually. So I decided to keep the ability and the chameleon on the same trigger because I figure the time where you want to be invisible on the radar is probably when you are cloaked up. I also have the Gravistar on here, so we'll see what that. You know, I got this. I got the the cooler on here. The I should say the seal to help, like you know, take longer to overheat versus the other one because uh, without it, you literally can shoot like one time. And I thought, well, that's that's a little it's a little problem. So I've changed around. This is the Grom build, the old Grom build. I. And I fixed it up to make it work with these parts and whatnot. Man, we flanked way all around for like no reason. Everybody's kind of, they're all kind of moving together. Three closest allies. Visible. In the radar. There we go. They'll be cloaked as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got lucky there. We're gonna come around, and get, go back into it. The thing is still overheated until the next shot. It overheats until until you fire off the next shot. But you can keep it kind of going the whole time. Oh, that just helped with the uh, fuse drones for a quick second me your stuff dude gosh dang it freaking fuse drone bolt not fuse drone but the stinking get the dang things they're right there get them oh my gosh are you serious how is it oh my gosh thank you so much how is it possible that I shooting at this dude's freaking drones that whole time and not actually get him gosh dang it yeah, well, I can tell you this much. I like the cohort, but I really like that. That's a lot of fun. This guy's got drones. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Um, so, let me just... I want to test something. So, get off my screen. So, with the seal, you can fire quite a bit. And if we take the seal off and we put in the chill, is that not? No, the shiver, the shiver, the shiver. Let's see. It. So you can see right there. It almost seems like it would be. Let's try something. Get rid of that. And we'll put the seal back in there. Get in there, seal. Get in there. Sounds like I'm, I'm kind of zookeeper trainer trying to get a freaking seal back in a stinking cage. All right, there we go. <laughs> that shouldn't have taken that long. We're just, I'm just going to stack a bunch of these just to see. Yeah, I know it's overweight. All right, let's test it. Imagine going to the battle like this. Whew. I mean, that's nice. Because it does do quite a bit of damage. Uh, yeah, I think uh, that could be something to explore. But I'm only going, I'm just going to, uh, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I was, in, I, was under, I was like, where's it at? Under the wrong one, my bad. Yeah, I'm only going to, uh, I'm gonna run this build and so I'm only gonna have one unless I completely reset everything with man This took a lot of work balancing this thing out, but I, I tell you this much. I definitely like this I do like the co. Let's play the cohort build again. But I got the world on there. Let's let's make it with some uh, I don't know, Mammoths or something. Well, this build is really limiting 
I mean, you really can't put things in certain spots. It's it's kind of frustrating. Um, I'm not that big of a fan for like that reason alone. Which one of these? See, like it's not. I mean, you can't. Okay, that that go on there. Nope, that was in the front. You can put something right there, but it kind of is like pointless. You can't. I mean, look at look, look at that. That's about as far as you can put. So you got to put something else in the front here. What about a tsunami? Does that fit right there? It's too freaking wide. You can't even stack cannons. I'm not gonna be able to stack that one. Um, fat man. Fat man fits in there. So we can put a fat man in there. I hate that. Look at look at that thing. Oh, I gotta put more energy on it. But you can put a fat man right there. I guess we could do that. I just it's just weird with that hanging off the back. All right, Desert Valley. I uh, this this thing's a freaking beast, man. I kind of try to make it look like a minesweeper. It's got like that thing in the front there. Look at that, and uh, lots of armor, heavily armored. Look at it, the fat man. So I gotta remember to use that, use that uh, resistance whenever anybody gets close to me, or I see incoming stuff. The problem is, I don't. Is, do the drones come out? I still am confused about it. Maybe they just don't show up or something, or am I un misunderstanding this? It's it, it, if people are in line of sight, it says it like pops up or whatever. Also. Um, the other thing is, I'm not entirely sure about the uh, the cabs. I think maybe the only one that's like of any worth really could be the the Griffin. Um, this one maybe would be if the resistance lasted longer. Just you know, in terms of the rarity, it's about that's what I'm saying. You know, in terms of the rarity, it seems for what it is, it seems like it should be longer or something. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. What are your thoughts on the new cabs? The other one, like, you can't even, you have to, you can't even, it's got to be completely, uh, exposed for it to really work. I'm gonna back up, I could have hit that guy. There he is. Gosh dang it. But, um, I could have hit those guys, like, three times more than what I did right there. Guy, come. Pop that stuff. Big hit. Big hit. Oh gosh. Three of them. What we don't want that. Oh. Didn't want to. I didn't want to waste it. But I probably could have did it quicker. Go hit that guy. He's moving. Resistance. Oh, it did get popped out. Okay. The guy's running for his life. Guys, he's like super early. I'm like, not. Nah, nah, I'm not in it at all. I could. I could be doing better for sure. I'm just like waking up. <laughs> What's up, dude? What you think about that? You hit me though. Pop this smoke. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I lost the wheel. Up and over. He's blowing up. Get this dude off me, man. He's all yours, dude. Kill says good. I'm glad he got it. Okay, yeah, I just don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know my thoughts. I like this build though. It looks sweet. I just I really wish those things wouldn't pop up all the time. Wish you could disable them. Um, these are sweet. These bumpers in the front here. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Um, but that's kind of weird. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, for as far as caps go, this one's kind of annoying to work with, in my opinion. But I guess maybe the resistance is effective in that sense. What was it again? How does it? How do they state it? 
Uh, oh, I am on it. Gives the cabin 30% damage resistance for- It's not even like complete, it's just 30%. Cool down, 25%. There are allies in line of sight nearby. It launches up to three drones that also increase their resistance depending on the type of cabin. So it launches three drones for nearby enemies, uh, nearby allies. So does it, it must go to them. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, I don't know what I think of them. What are your thoughts about them? I like, I like the cohort. I still think the Bastion is like the best cab. It should be a legendary map. <laughs> the Griffin's good though, I think. That, that's a very, this one's like the most like practical, effective one. Uh, the Nova would actually be something if it lasted longer, I feel like. If it lasted for like 10 seconds maybe or something, which seems like it's OP, but that's what it should be, I think, for an OP legendary thing. I feel like it should be that long and that's not just my thoughts that's other people's thoughts too from what i can see in the comments but i do hope you guys uh had a uh enjoyed watching the video thank you so much for stopping by i will see you in the next one